Hey gang, Sarah here. So I'm here to kind of walk you through how I created some of those templates from the video from last week. So if you guys didn't check out that video, go check it out. Um, and these videos are really just all about answering your questions in the comments. Now, by not having these templates before I created those, I found myself being very disorganized. I was unprepared for meetings. I was like constantly like searching for files in my OneNote and I was really, I just wasn't liking how I was carrying myself. So, and it, it kind of made me feel like I was becoming inconsistent in driving results. So by creating these templates, it really gave me some structure in my OneNote. So now I'm like always prepared for meetings. I always have an agenda, so I'm not wasting people's time. And I just really like have my act together. Like I feel like I have my act together. And frankly, I do. I always have what I need for my meetings. I'm always prepped. I always have the files. Uh, so these templates are really going to help kind of remove those barriers or those problems that you have when you have a digital um, productivity system. So by these are very simple templates. I'm a big fan of keeping keeping it simple, stupid, like the KISS principle. So any system that I build is always gonna be very simple. When there's a lot of complexity, I end up kind of bailing on the system. So I like to create very simple systems because that is what keeps me kind of committed to it. So I'm not really like dealing with decision fatigue on a daily basis. Um, so these quick and easy templates are really going to help change the game. So I'm going to walk you through a couple in this one, and I'm sorry it's a two-parter, but I didn't want to put out another 20-minute video, so I tried to keep them like relatively short. So this one is a, the meeting template that I use for like reoccurring meetings or one-on-one -on -one templates with my uh, team members or even my manager. So. I hope you like this. So you let me know in the comments, what are the, some of the elements that I potentially could be missing in this meeting minute? So this is the simple meeting minute one and the next video I put out is gonna be the more complex, like the more rigor type meeting minutes um, template. So thanks for watching. And again, don't forget to let me know in the comment what elements that um, I may be missing. So thanks for watching everyone, bye. All right, so we're gonna start with the simple one. Um, and I say simple, they're all like, as you get the hang of it, they all become pretty simple as you start to work through them all. But if you've never done it before, so I guess it's not simple. But I wanted to start off with the one that I use most commonly, and it's the one that is the meeting minutes or the, the meeting agenda that I keep track of. And I use this, it's this one up here, and this one is the one that I use for all my one-on-ones reoccurring meetings, one-off meetings, and really just a non-formal meeting. So I will use this one because I like to keep my systems very simple. This, The more simple they are, the more likely you're going to stick to them. Because if you have a very complex system, then you're going to get like caught up on where do I put this and making decisions. So the key is to make it simple. So I am sure that there are more advanced systems out there, but I'm just saying this is simple, this is work for me, and this is how I use them. So the first thing you're going to do is go in and add a section. Again, I'm on a MacBook here, purely because this is the computer I use for YouTube, but I do think that OneNote works better on a PC, but you're still going to be able to do all these things. The layout's just a little different. But all right, so templates. All right, so I wanted to create a section called templates because this is where we're going to build them and we're going to copy from here. Now, yes, you can 100% build templates within Microsoft OneNote, but I just like these because it's just copy and paste. And it, again, I just really keep stuff super simple because this is the way that I found that I keep, I stick with my systems. So anyway. So we create a simple uh, section, it says section, and it's called templates. And you can change the color and all that if you want. All right, so I go to insert table, and you're going to get like these options here. And you can always add rows and columns. And again, if you mess up, don't worry about it, because the good thing is, is we're not like brain surgeons, and <laughs> we make a mistake, we can just redo it. So it's just play with it. So I like to keep it as a three column. Um, and I'll tell you tell you why momentarily. So it's three columns and I just start with two rows. So it's a three by two table. So the other thing that I like to do is I like to keep my page at 100% because I build all my templates so I don't have to be scrolling left to right all the time. I just want it to be there when I'm ready. Um, and here you just have to kind of finesse this a little bit. So I know that I'm going to use date and time for the first meeting and then 
my agenda, and then my discussion. So I'm going to leave the most room for like the meat and potatoes, if you will, of the meeting. So I do date, the date and meeting name, agenda, and discussion points. So I just keep it really simple. You can always add columns to this, but again, I strongly suggest you keep these very simple because you the more complex it's going to be more difficult for you to manage the system so the first thing i will do now we're creating a template so date and then agenda oh and then the meeting name and again i'm just really consistent with this and i'll tell you why because i'm going to show you how i would use this as well all right and then the agenda i use the the, the numbered bullet points here and the reason why I do this is because then I can are we keeping are we talking about the first agenda item the second agenda item third agenda item because when I'm writing notes I just have to worry about instead of redoing the topic I just write the number one or two whichever discussion point it is or agenda item sorry all right so I always just do three dots here I'm sure there's another way of doing this but this is just how I do it so here one two three four and then I'm just copying this and pasting it now so if I write like the the agenda topic here then it core any discussion points will correlate to one or maybe there's no discussion around one so I skip it and I'll write two but I'm getting ahead of myself okay so this is the flat out this is the um, agenda the meeting template that I use most commonly and now I just like to make it a little bit prettier I guess so I'll make these bold so they stand out a little bit more um, and then also I just shade them I always do like a darker shade for headers and then a lighter for like subheaders I guess but I'm that's just the way my brain thinks that we have this this is the template right here and I'm going to name this T for template and then meeting notes and you can see it showing up in your page section so when I'm looking for a template that I want I can easily find it T stands for template and then meeting notes so that's always there I'm just using YouTube video tutorials as like a as a notebook but say I was this was my reoccurring meeting so I would put the monthly monthly metrics or monthly operations review all right so I just copy the whole thing so copy then I go to the notebook where I want to keep this template to start using it so I would put it in there and then in my I always keep this first row as the template and I would just do table insert below and then I would just I just put it there so now it's ready so then if it was like I don't know August 15th we'll say August 15th 24 and then it would be the more review or the more meeting so and then the first one would be like business results and then I'd say you know 1000% ahead or plan you know <laughs> I don't know right uh, plan you know whatever the topics are so that would be how I would use it so then I could just if I wanted to do a quick links here I would copy this and it would correlate to my calendar but that's really how I do it and then if I wanted to I say September this is monthly right so it's September 15th I would copy this again and I would paste it oops I would copy it and then I would do insert rows above and I would just paste it so then I just have it ready and you can always just delete these these extra rows so then I would just have a reoccurring one so this would be um, you could do something like this and it would be like September 15th more review and you'd get the business results and now we are only you know 500% ahead of plan right I mean this is just a complete joke here just for the sake of that so that's how I would create and use the simple monthly operations review now again if I wanted to do a one-on-one um, a -on -one page I would say 
I would have this section of, um, I would call this one-on-ones, so oopsie, one, so I'd be team member, one, one, on ones. And again, I would go back to my template and I would just take this, copy it, and then I would go to team members ones and I would go, oops, and I'd go put it here. And again, I would do the same thing. So I would just put, you know, add a row below. And then I would take this and I'd copy it and then I would paste it here and I would go through all the discussion points and it would be, you know, team member one on like whatever, 8, 15, 24 team member one and and I would just do it. So now throughout the week a little bit differently about how I would use this because I have my one-on-ones or I might be in meetings where I need to somebody mentions something about team member one. It's a Tuesday and my meeting is until Thursday. I'll throw um, the topic that somebody mentioned. So when it becomes time for the actual one-on-one. -on -one. I'm like, oh, here's the things that I wanted to talk to you about team member one, right? So I just keep a running list and this is how I manage it with all my one-on-ones and I just have one page for, for everybody. Um, so that's really how I would use this topic, this template for my one-on-ones. And I, again, it would be, you know, every, if I've had them for two months, so I would have four rows because they would be bi-weekly, I would say, just to oversimplify the schedule. So I would just keep track of it and any things that we talked about around it or decisions or maybe there's even an action item. I might throw team member one to follow up with so-and-so so that I would know that they had that action. So then the next time I'm in the one-on-one, -on -one, I'm like, hey, did you follow up with so-and-so? Oh, okay. And I would just check it off that they did it. Now, the other one that was common that we would use to go back to the templates was the quick links. So again, it would be the same thing. I'm going to add a page and I'm going to name it the same naming convention. So it's going to be template T and I'm going to put quick links. And I just keep these very simple because again, I want to find stuff quickly. I don't want to be like searching through files to find things. So T is a template and it's quick links. So I know that I'm always going to have a fresh copy for when I need it. This is what it looks like to, oops. To, so now you're going to insert a table. And again, I like to contain all my templates within, within a box, within a table, because it makes it easy to move around. So this, then I can move everything around. Oopsie. Um, it's because it goes here. So I'm just going to build this out a little bit bigger. Now, again, I want it to be up here, so I'm not going to make it as wide. So I'm going to put it in here and now this is going to be the box that contains my template. So now I'm going to add another template. This is a little bit tricky. So I'm actually going to add the cells that I'm going to put all the links in. So we're just going to say a table of uh, three columns and two rows. So I'm going to add it there. Okay. Then I'm going to hit enter because I want this space up here. And then this is completely ridiculous and probably overcomplicated, but I just like how it looks. Then I'm going to actually create a one by one table, just one box. And this is going to be the header box for my template. And then I'm just going to scooch these around to make them kind of evenly distributed. And again, these don't have to be perfect and you can make this to be whatever. And then I'm going to put quick links here. And then again, I'm going to make it bold. And then I just like to center it because that's just who I am. Um, so I center it here. And then all my headers just have dark shading. That's just the way I kind of look at it. So now, don't mind that. That's weird. Okay, so now this is my quick links template. So I'll just come in and do it. And you can add rows under this by just highlighting table, insert rows below, and now you have another kind of section to add more links. And this is where I would throw quick like files or references to other notebooks. So if I go back to, you know, remember that monthly operations, and this is why that naming convention is important. Um, so I'll copy it and then I'll do copy link to paragraph. Oh, and then I would put it in my quick links, but again, I'm using my template, so I'm kind of screwing up my template here, but that's how I would put the links to each other. So again, so now that is the, the 
actual template for that I would use over and over again. So copy it and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to say with this team member one, I want a quink links. So I'm just going to paste it and then I'll just give this table a little scooch down so they don't bump into each other. And then I have it. And then maybe it makes sense that I want to talk to my team member about the, the results of um, the monthly operations. So I would do copy link to paragraph and then I would put the link right there. So and I'm like, hey, team member one, blah, 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 blah. And here's and I, I would say, remember to talk to team member one about the more meeting. And I'd say, hey, so the more meeting, it had this, this and this. This was the business results. We we're a thousand percent ahead of plan, team member one. OK, so let me know what questions you have and what you could use this for. But again, this is the really simple uh, meeting kind of meeting template that I use for very informal meetings or my one-on-ones to help me just keep track of everything. And it really makes you be look very prepared and you are prepared, frankly. You have the history of everything you talked about and you've been adding to the, the meeting agenda over and over. And now you all, all you have to do is copy and paste, be ready to spin up a new um, team member or project and you have all the little things that you need to support the decisions that you made. So you're very quickly ready to go and now you can be a little bit more confident when you're speaking. Like I know for a fact we talked about that on 8-15-2024 you said we were a thousand percent ahead of plan, <laughs> right? So it gives you just that confidence and you really look prepared um, in the meeting. So let me know what questions you have and how you would use this in your one-on-ones or ways you would modify it because I'd always be interested in that. And again, I really do suggest you keep everything very simple like that KISS principle. Keep, keep it simple, stupid, because the more complex your systems are, the more difficult it is to manage them. So thank you for watching, everyone. Bye.